Hello everyone. I wanted to shoot a video today at the conclusion of a custom project which I've been working on for quite some time. These I will just call them as a their micro scale transformer figures and uh, source them from a variety of different manufacturers. And all of them have been custom painted with the exception of the Autobot shuttle which is on the far left. That is a titanium uh, figure which came out about I think about 10 years ago. But everything else here I've, I've painted one way or another or treated it with some sort of uh, a gray wash just to kind of bring out the details. I have a US quarter in the middle just for scale so you can see approximately how big these are. I would say they stand roughly about half the size of a headmaster figure. So I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see some additional detail here and uh, I'm not sure if it'll come through or not. But of course starting on the left I have Optimus Prime, Blaster, Perceptor, Blur, Ultra Magnus, RC, Springer, Hot Rod, Cup, and then, of course, Devastator in combined mode, all the Constructor Cons. I have a Megatron. I have a, a Nemesis ship. And then I have uh, Seekers with Cyclonus in the middle. And on the bottom here, I have the uh, Aerial Bots. And then the middle figures that you see, there's a Springer, Hot Rod, another Springer, Fans Project, uh, Steel Core is a Optimus Prime. And also, uh, that's an Afterburner, uh, my attempt at an Afterburner based on the figure I had. And he, he keeps falling over, so... Um, so let's uh, let's talk about where these are all from. So let's start with Devastator and all of the individual units. This is actually a set that came from Make Toys. It was meant to um, complement their Make Toys Utopia uh, set. It's called Citizen Set 01 with trench covers, and it comes with the all of the individual um, you know the the constructor cons that you see here. And uh, but they are basically just green plastic. So I had to. Um, paint all the individual details in so you know black for the tires silver on the rims um, purple on the various sections that I put a wash on it and then the wash was kind of glossy so then I put a dull coat over the top and uh, let's see the next sets that you probably recognize here are the um, combiner war aerial bots these actually came with um, combiner wars or uh, sorry titans titans return broadside and what the decepticons are actually they're uh, the same version that came with um, Tidal Wave. So I had I had an extra set, and I decided just to customize all of those. So I created a, a Starscream out of the F-15. Then we have, uh, let's see, Thundercracker and Skywarp, and then I have a Cyclonus in the middle. And then I made a Blitzwing which uh, out of an F-14. I don't know if it, you'll be able to see that. It's kind of hard to really see all the details here. I was kind of proud of that one because I, I had this extra jet, and I wanted to use it somehow. Um, let's talk about the vehicle modes, the, the Autobot vehicle modes that you see here. These are actually from Fans Project. They had a um, Fans Project, I think it's Assaulter, which is their version of Broadside. It came with some of their other uh, kind of miniatures of their figures. So you see the two Springers here are, are from uh, the, the Assaulter pack. And then the what you see now as a hot rod was actually a Sandstorm, which I took an extra piece of sprue and I cut it and painted it to make um, the... Um, the kind of the back fin for Hot Rod. I did the same thing in the vehicle mode. You know, I don't know if I can kind of see back there, but there's actually an additional piece there that I added. And then um, lastly, this uh, Optimus Prime is actually a G2 Optimus Prime, which came with the um, Citizen Set kit, but I cut off the front because I, I just didn't like the long engine. I left the rest of it on there. It's not, not a deal breaker for me, uh, just because I just, I just, you know, and actually cut off the wheel and then moved it up front and then glued it on and then it painted it all together. And then um, this motorcycle also came with the Fans Project set. And I just, again, I tried to make it look like one of the um, Technobots, but right now it's, I mean, it's just, it was kind of like a last minute addition that I put in. And uh, see so here, so what you probably are wondering, like where did these Autobots come from? And if you look closely, these are actually, I sourced them from the uh, the, the Constructicons. Um, what I did is like, let's zoom in here and also Megatron. So you see we have a hook and you look right next to him, that's a Megatron. But if you look closely, it's actually the same figure. I cut off the top of the hook for a hook and also off the back and I was able to repaint it. So that's basically where I got it. Uh, let's see, so Mixmaster is here and I took an extra mis Mixmaster and I made him into a Springer. I just cut off the top section. And then you have, uh, I think like Bone Crusher and uh, let's see, um, Scavenger. And I made them into the different units. So let's see, I think, um, so I have the same figure for Perceptor. I basically cut the wheels off on the bottom. And also for Cup, 
I cut the wheels off on his arms. So it all looks, you, you could sell, this is the source figure, right? So I know he's able just to repaint everything. And then um, Hot Rod and RC came off the same figure. I think it's uh, Scavenger. Uh, I think it's Scavenger here. Um, and I did the same thing with like Blur. Blur, I, I took another one of the Constructicons and I used some little snippers and I basically cut off the extra pieces of the Constructicons to make them. And uh, one of the other figures which is unique, this is also Make Toys, but this actually came with a Make Toys Utopia. And um, I got it second hand or third hand actually. And some of the little engine or the kind of the missiles or um, the guns on the shoulders are broken off. So I just kind of painted it over them. So you see they're a little bit uneven there. But that's actually a Make Toys Utopia, and I just repainted it to look like Ultra Magnus. And then the final figure that you're going to see here is uh, the Nemesis ship. This is actually, of course, uh, Titans. I'm oh, sorry, the Kingdom Galvatron, which just came out, and he comes with two of those. And I just repainted one of them to look like the Nemesis ship. So let me uh, zoom out here a little bit, and I'm going to try to do another size comparison for you uh, if you want to take a look at this. So this is a standard um, Optimus Prime, which just came out. And this Optimus Prime, the second one on the left, this is actually a dollar figure store. So you could still, it, it's, it looks the same as the world's smallest uh, Transformer, but it's a little bit bigger. And then, of course, there's a standard Headmaster there. Um, and then below that, that red figure here, this is the actual original Optimus Prime. That's what he looked like. He had, you know, extra wheels on and extra stuff on his shoulders. And I was able to trim most of that away just to make it look a little bit more G1. And the final figure that you see on the bottom is the uh, the new, I don't know, again, I don't know what the scale is. I think micro scale, something or other. And uh, these are the ship, the uh, the robots that come with like the new Ark and also the HasLab Unicron. So there's, you know, they have a Galvatron. I'm sure more figures will come out from it. But I'll just try to zoom out here so you see the total scale. There is quite a bit of difference between these. And uh, I'm going to zoom out all the way. Maybe you can see everything. Um but uh, it's been a fun project, and I didn't actually expect to paint all these in the very beginning of what I was working on. It just kind of started happening, <laughs> and I uh, just kept kind of going through one by one. I just kept saying, you know, well, I've already got a Ultra Magnus. I might as well get a, you know, a cup, or I might as well have a Springer. Now I might as well have a, you know, a Blaster, et cetera, et cetera. So also, uh, Blaster actually made up, I made him out of, uh, I think it's Long Haul. So I cut off, like, all the, the extra parts of it on his shoulders, and I actually turned him around, so he's actually backwards. So that's basically, I was just trying to figure out a, a use for uh, the extra long haul that I had. This is the actual box set of what the uh, Citizen Set 01 looks like. You can see how the figures themselves, they all come like sealed here in the green. And they look all green and little pa packages, etc. I did get um, a G2 colored um, version of this. And I don't know where it came from. It came with the set that I bought online. It was, it was again, I was like the third owner of this. So I don't know where it came from. It is definitely make toys, but... I looked and looked and I don't really see it. So if you happen to notice where it came from, you can always drop a comment below. And uh, that is basically the conclusion of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just post a comment below. Thank you.